you're confident about who you are and you don't have to put on a facade because as you said, your parents raised you to be that who you are was enough. Right. Can you just talk about growing up? I mean, in that environment, I mean, as an artist, like, you know, being queer, being in the music industry and being authentic and everything outside of you is pushing against that. Hmm. Um, it has been trying, <laughs> you know, um, however, going back to what I mentioned before, like I knew that my path was not going to be typical, mm -hmm. you know, so I, in some ways had mentally prepared myself and had some sort of armor. Mm you know, to be able to like stand up for myself, you know, push through and not believe uh, a lot of the things that they attempt to make you believe mm -hmm. about yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, the doubt that they attempt to instill in you, you know, and they tried it many <laughs> times. I know they did. Many, many, many times, you know. Um, and, you know, I just pushed through and had the support of managers, attorneys, who in my case, you know, when I have my record deals and all that, that the one stipulation that was mandatory for me was that they have to put my records out. Mm. So, you know, it wasn't going to be a case of, oh, you got a record deal and you make a record and then we just put it on the shelf. Because that happens, people. It happens all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I'm grateful that, you know, I had people in support of me to be able to make sure that I was provided with that. Mm -hmm. right, you know, um, because people don't know what they don't know. Mm. So when you put a record out, some people know. Mm -hmm. And that's how they discover. That's how they learn who you are. And that's how they end up coming to your shows for 30 years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Versus some stories, unfortunate ones, where people reach the dream and then it gets cut off. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm grateful to my family because genetically and spiritually, like that's the main reason I've been able to survive Wow! through this whole thing. Wow. You know, you go from the church. So I would think that you would get pushed back before you even hit the industry. You know, nah, but that's what I'm saying. Like my grandmother, who was, you know, the mother of my family's church and my aunt, who was the pastor of our church, they were aware that the gift would create space for me to utilize it. Okay. And they told me that. Mm. And they poured into me in that way. And, you know, we couldn't sing secular music in my grandmother's house, but she knew that when we went to our own homes that life was happening. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. as kids, again, we was we were witnessing life happen. Mm -hmm. So when the opportunity came for me to go to Hollywood and be on TV and sing songs of the day, pop music and all that, mm -hmm. they didn't resist that. Yeah, it was supported. Yeah, you know what I mean. So as religious as she was, it was like, "Hey, go do the work that you've been put here to do." Yeah, you and, know? You, and, and you were doing it, you know. Right, and and I'm again blessed to have that level of support mm -hmm. for my entire life. 